21st Century Entrepreneurship with Martin Piskarik. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Anne Brown. I'm the CEO of Gazelle Global, and I'm very honored to be on the 21st Century Podcast here with Martin. And I, I think I'd like to open up today by asking a question. Is it time for you to start your own business? I know all of you out there are um, entrepreneurs, your um, inventors, your people who have a lot of ideas, a lot of concepts, but perhaps you've been sitting in your, um, you know, working full time for someone else for a long time. And I'm just wondering if today's the day that you start thinking about starting your own business. Um, not worrying any longer about, um, will my company survive? Will there be layoffs? You know, there's a, it's been a difficult time here um, in the United States over the past couple of years. There have been a lot of layoffs, um, a lot of financial upheaval in some uh, verticals. And I'm just wondering, um, is it the time? Is this the time that I'm, I'm putting to you? Is this the time for you to start your own business? I'm here today to talk a little bit about what Gazelle does. We're a market research data collection hub, uh, meaning that we help full service market researchers and brands um, with data collection all around the world, all methodologies, sample um, programming and hosting, data processing, coding, translations uh, in about 120 languages. So we're actually a global company. And in 1993, I left my full-time job and I joined this company and I've not regretted it for one day. Gazelle Global is a 30-year-old business. We started in 1993, but in case you think that Gazelle was the only business that we ever started, you would be wrong. Uh, in 2006, we also started a global translation business with um, three other partners. Uh, we, we embarked on a very successful journey, um, and that company was sold about three or four years ago to a very large translation company. So I have experience in um, starting from scratch, and I have experience in working with a company having the company built up until it was very attractive for sale and selling that company. And I also have experience in holding a company for a very long time, Gazelle Global holding it for 31, 31 years to date. Um, so I think I have a little bit of background um, that I can share uh, that what, what is it that um, brought me to this entrepreneurship? It's, um, it's curiosity. It's trying to learn about and experience other cultures. And it was a desire to be my own boss. I think that's the biggest thing. Once you are in control of your own destiny, I think life becomes easier because you make the success of your life or you don't, but it's all on you. You don't have to rely on what management thinks, what the company's situation is in the global economy. It's all about you. And you have the opportunity to grow it, to shrink it, to, to change it, to pivot. But when you have your own business, it belongs to you. And then the decisions and the outcome and the success of the business is yours. And I think that's what's very attractive today because people aren't staying in companies forever anymore. It's not like it used to be where people have a job and they stay there for life. People are jumping from job to job, three years, four years, maybe even one or two years. So it's, it's, there's a distinct unstable situation in 
working for other people these days. But if you have your own business, I think it's a more attractive situation. I wanted to say a little bit more about my comment about um, sometimes working for a large corporation um, gives you a feeling of uh, being of instability. And I, I'm saying that because I've noticed that in the industry that I'm in, over the past couple of years uh, since COVID and continuing on through the beginning of this year, there have been a lot of layoffs. A lot of people have been um, you know, thinking that they 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 had a more secure position, and then um, for financial reasons, there have been a lot of layoffs. And I've noticed that some people um, are rising to the top and starting their own thing. And I'm admiring their courage. And um, I'm just thinking that um, yes, anybody who's out there who is wondering. You know, thinking that maybe they have an idea for a business, maybe they have an idea for um, some to start something new. Now might be the time. I wanted to share a little bit about why I think it might be time for um, you to think about starting your own uh, journey as an entrepreneur. Um, I want I want to share the um, the kind of satisfaction, the kind of job satisfaction that you gain from being the person, being a leader, um, from growing a team, from providing. Um, a stable employment for people who um, come to work for you, um, and and I think it's I think it's a wonderful experience for um, you to think about uh, starting to build something for yourself. And once you've started to build something for yourself and it you're successful at it, you'll be building you'll be building basically a work family for yourself and for others. So your leadership skills will come into play, your empathy will come into play, your courage will come into play. All of the things that, um, all of the thing, all of the qualities that you possess will come, will, will be a part of your daily routine. So you will be able to set your own, you'll be able to use your own ethics and standards um, you will be able to add value to your customers and all of these things come by way of job satisfaction and so this is these are some of the reasons why i think it may be time for some of you to think about starting something on your own um, being your own being the master of your own destiny and being able to carve out your own future. Is it the time for you? As we were saying, um, this is, could be a very exciting time for you. And if you decide to make that choice um, and start something um, on your own, one of the one of the, some advice that I would give you would be to join associations in your industry. They're invaluable. Um, they provide support and they provide leadership. They provide someone that you can go to to um, discuss your um, any current dilemma that you might feel. Um, in my case, I belong to SOMR. I belong to um, the Insights Association, and I've been a long term member of Women in Research. And I can't tell you um, how wonderful it is to have those associations there um, some, that I can go to for support. 
Um, and it, also, since this company is, has a 31 year history, um, I've also decided to give back and um, I think it's time. And I've also joined the board for the MREF, the Market Research Education Foundation, where we, um, we provide help to children around the world who are in need. Anyway, um, those are the kinds of things that um, I've been doing for the past 31 years. And um, I'd love to hear more from some of you out there. So um, you can message me on my LinkedIn, uh, Anne Brown at Gazelle Global. And it's actually been a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you so much for listening. 21st Century Entrepreneurship with Martin Piskarik. Imagine a space where triumphs, trials, and tales of entrepreneurship come alive. Welcome to the 21st Century Entrepreneurship Podcast, a gold awarded journey hosted by Martin Piskorik, connecting with listeners in 95 countries and ranking in the top 0.5% of all podcasts. Join our exclusive community, elevate your perspective, and embark on the path to success.